Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle. Today we're going to be doing another recreation of another stunning look. This time from the gorgeous Body Positivity Coach, and that is Megan Thee Stallion. Her album just came out. I listened to it this morning and honestly I couldn't really focus at work. It's the kind of music where you can't listen to it sitting down. Each song I'm like, I need to stand up and throw the shit back. Her makeup in the performance, I was like, I needed to do it like I need to recreate it uh, plus I didn't really have any video ideas if you do have video ideas for me to do then please like leave a comment down below I saw her makeup and I thought it was amazing she had crystals on so this happened last night I'm recording this on Monday and I bought these Swarovski crystals from Michaels I paid $15 extra just so I can have it delivered on the same day I could have picked it up from the store but here in Toronto like the COVID cases are just astronomical Astronomical. Okay, so before we do get started, I'm gonna have to say it now because I feel like people are actually watching me now. Please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm really trying to grow this channel. If you've watched my previous videos before and you like my content and you're still not subscribed, please do. If you're already here. You know, you're probably here because you're here to have a good time and times are good when you're having a good time. So subscribe. Okay, so I already have most of my makeup on. I did look through her pictures and also I watched the performance so many times trying to learn that so i did really try to investigate her like face makeup and it looks like she doesn't have blush on which to me is kind of scary because i love blush blush to me is like the easiest way to make your face look alive i know some people think it's bronzer but for me like <sighs> I don't need bronzer she's naturally tan so i did put a little blush on but it's like one of those like blush but not a blush kind of shades with the eyes i feel like it's only like three maximum eyeshadows and i couldn't have a palette that had all three of the shades that i needed so i'm using three different palettes because why not i'll be using this like light taupey shade because in the picture her crease isn't like super defined but there's definitely something there by the way i purchased a new mirror like hello it has a light and the shape is really like like that to be honest i feel like this is a more complicated look than the other video that i did but i'm a little bit more confident just because like for megan the stallion like i feel like i should have some confidence right now kind of like blending it into my nose contour because i feel like that's how hers is i just have like the photo like zoomed way in okay so i'm gonna go in with a slightly darker brown because i do want the like cut crease situation to really pop out oh my god this is so disgustingly dirty this is the anastasia master palette by mario this was before mario the the van the 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 this was before he had his own makeup uh brand in sephora so i'm gonna use this shade and i'm gonna focus this more on the outer corner Okay, so to cut my crease, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Concealer. I'm just gonna dot it on the back of my hand like that. It's very like cat eye, kind of similar to the Positions makeup. So this one, it's kind of higher out here. And I'm actually gonna start from the outer corner. I'm gonna do it with my eyes open, just so I can see exactly where I'm putting this concealer on. No, I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that's pretty close, right? I'm gonna do the other eye and see if I can make it look better. I feel like this is more accurate. I feel like this one's just too, you know? What's really important about this look is that you have enough space for the rhinestones. If you don't do like a cut crease big enough, it's kind of just gonna like go into like the fold of your eye, like your crease. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger on both sides. Yeah, this eye is definitely like better right okay so this is how i'm gonna fix this eye i'm just gonna use the same shadow that i used and i'm basically just gonna go over that but before i do i'm just gonna tap that all on the floor smack that give me some more yeah i just tapped it just to make sure it's not like wet because it's gonna really grab onto the shadow if it is okay so it's like nothing happened right if only real life mistakes were that easy to fix how did that happen hello this eye is so much bigger <laughs> actually no i think this is good now i'm gonna have a lot of space to put in the stones yeah the shape is definitely that okay perfect i'm just gonna do it on the other eye okay i feel like that's even this looks so much like my positions video i swear it's different guys i swear okay so now we're gonna put shadow on top of it i looked at her stories and she had this picture so i can see the color of the stones but i can't really see the color of the eyeshadow i feel like it just looks 
flesh toned. So the closest I can find is this shade uh, called Fifth Avenue. On me, it looks kind of like my skin tone, just shimmery. I'm just gonna use that shade to pat over um, this cut crease. Like, you see what I mean? It's like, is there eyeshadow there or no? So I feel like the cut crease is kind of softened. It's not like super defined. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up the edges. So before we get into the glitter, I do want to do the black eyeliner. So before I do the glitter, I do want to do like the smudge liner because she has a really intense um, like black smudge liner that just gets really thick at the ends. And the reason I want to do that before the glitter is because if I put glitter on and I like try to smudge out the shadow, it's going to lift off that glitter and transfer to the to like my cheek. So I'm basically going to line my waterline and then just really like smoke it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna really extend this like way out. And for this, I'm gonna kind of keep my eye open just so I can monitor the shape that I'm starting to like form. And I'm basically connecting that liner to like the point that I created with the cut crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna smudge it out with a black shadow and we're gonna be using the shade Obsidian. And I'm just gonna press this on top of the eyeliner and then I'm gonna start smudging it out. Wow, that just makes my eye look super like Okay, now I have to like try to replicate this on the other eye. That should be really fun for me. My eyelids are being really annoying right now. It looks kind of like good when I do this, but when I go like this, it's like... Okay, I think I'm ready to put the glitter on. So this glitter that I'm using is from Pixie. I don't even know if this is still available. This is kind of old. Liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Sunray. And I'm just gonna dab it on the applicator and I'm gonna just pat it on the lid. So it's best to keep it like kind of sparse because I don't want it to be like a completely like foiled metallic eye. I just want it to have like some glimmer. With like beauty studio lighting, like glitter and like rhinestones just don't shine. Real talk, who else feels personally victimized by the song body? Because Crazy body, check. Curvy wavy, check. Big titties, eh. Tiny waist, eh. Like those last two things just don't apply to me. You know, I feel like kind of left out. Like, do you see how it just catches the light a little bit? And that's just kind of like what you need. I don't like lining my lower waterline because I feel like it just makes my eyes look so tiny. But I'm gonna go for it because this is all about confidence and uh, I'm gonna try to make it work. You see what I mean? Like it just makes my eye look so like, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> so I am gonna smudge that out. I'm gonna use a dark brown. And of course there's leftover black on the shadow brush. Not gonna lie, this is looking a little janky. <laughs> now I'm gonna use like the lighter brown shade. I'm just gonna smudge that out. Just really trying to soften this out. Okay, so I think I'm ready to do the rhinestones, which is the fun part, but also the kind of stressful part. It's a very specific rhinestone, if you're familiar with rhinestones. And the color is called Areola. <laughs> Not Areola. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yes, Areola, because it's a part of my what? Body. Come on, Areola rhinestone. So the color of the rhinestone is called Aurora Borealis and these are actual Swarovski so they're glass not plastic. There's three different sizes so these are great however on her eyes she has bigger rhinestones like really big rhinestones even though there's three different sizes here these are too small but I do have um, these like clear color ones. I'm probably gonna use like two on each eye and then fill it in with these smaller ones. So with the rhinestones, I use like normal lash glue to put them on. I would highly suggest getting one of these pens. These are commonly used for um, like gem painting. It's gonna be so much easier with this. If you don't have one of these pens, then you can use tweezers. So I'm gonna use two of the bigger rhinestones just here and here and on the other side as well. To make things easier, I wouldn't recommend putting rhinestones where your crease is. So for me, my crease is like right there because it's just gonna like tuck underneath and it's gonna be really uncomfortable. So I would prefer applying it like right above it. Okay, so I have the glue on, I have the rhinestone on my pen. I'm 
is gonna attach. Like that. Okay, it worked. Okay, so I totally forgot that in the picture she has like different shaped rhinestone on the inner corners. They kind of look like, like rice. <laughs> Sorry, my Filipino just jumped out there but yeah it kind of looks like a grain of rice i could not find anything like that so i'm just gonna like use these ones that i have so i'm just gonna work in sections here oh it's already looking really pretty and this small one is tiny oh my goodness see that can you see that can you see that at all Oh, I lost one. So I'm kind of unhappy with this one rhinestone that's like really sticking out. So I'm just gonna take that off with a tweezer and rearrange it. So for the tail, I did like big, medium, small, just so like it tapers into like a nice end there. Oh no, I lost another one. God, that felt satisfying putting that last one on. Oh, I hope this doesn't pop off anything. So the lashes have to be really like long and full on the outer corner. I can use the same lash that I used in my Ariana video, but I don't think that's full enough. I have this one. This might be a little too cuckoo kachu, not gonna lie. I don't hate it. I think I want to stack them actually because I feel like this is great for like length and like wispiness. So yeah, I am gonna use the same lashes that I used my ariana video because these just go with everything honestly i've worn them with no eye makeup and i look like like a flirty little goddess okay so that's just the base just to give me a little something and then i'll put the really dramatic one on i just remembered i forgot what the song title was but there's a song on her new album <laughs> where she's like uh-uh don't fuck me like that fuck me like this like I almost fell out of my fucking chair. And also, there's a line with this- the song with SZA, where she- SZA? SZA? SZA. Sazi. I don't know. Like, in the chorus, she says, like, I need a thug who ain't afraid of a pussy with a gangsta lean. Is that shit not poetry to you? That shit is, like, some next level haiku realness. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the second lash. Okay, so in her photo, it's not as, like, spiky. But I feel like I needed the spikiness just to kind of hide the fact that I don't have any rhinestones on my immediate, like, eyelid. Like, did somebody say drama? I did. My lashes did. Thank you. Can you guys see the shimmer from the light? Okay, so for a lip, she had like kind of like what I would consider her signature, which is like a really dark lip liner with like an ombre in lip. Oh, by the way, since my Ariana video, I have gotten my lips pumped again, <laughs> just in time before the lockdown. Whenever I get my lips done, like I kind of forget how to do my lip liner <laughs> for some reason. And yes, yeah, so I've had my lips done. Oh wow, big love. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place um, Toffee. Then to brighten up the center, I'm gonna use Maybelline Beige Babe. This is really light. Okay, so now to top it all off, I'm gonna use the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss, and then I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna change and um, switch my wig to make him feel like he's cheating, and I'll be right back. Hi. Okay, so the wig is on. It's really weird seeing myself with dark hair, even though this is actually like my natural hair color. I just, it always gets me. So I did try doing like these slicked back hair that she had, but I just saw a messy man. I'm just gonna keep it clean like this. It's been a while since I've laid a lace front wig down. So it's, it's a mess. It's trash. I know you don't have to tell me. Okay, so that's it for this video. Before you do leave, maybe you might wanna check out some of my other videos. Just, just an idea, you know, but if you do like this video, give it a like, and if you like me, then you should subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!